everybody. What we're looking at here is that bed that I grew my onions in this summer. And then the 1st of September, I planted it with buckwheat as a ground cover, green manure. And it grew for, well, a month and a half or so, I guess. And then the frost killed it and down it went. And I have made a time-lapse video you've probably seen on some of my other videos that had the plant cam set up in the corner of this bed. So what follows is the uh, plant cam video or made up of, a, of the time-lapse photographs, 496 photographs, I think. Anyway, what you're looking at now doesn't actually appear on the, on the time-lapse. I did this afterward. I've just started cleaning out chicken coops for the fall, preparing for winter cleaned out the smallest coop this morning and there's four wheelbarrow loads of sawdust shavings and chicken manure that I spread over the top of it. I didn't uh, till in the remains of the uh, buckwheat plants, I just covered them. You can still see them sticking up in some places. With what's left of the fall rain, and we'll probably still get quite a bit of rain before it freezes solid and starts to snow, and then with the snow melt in the spring and the spring rain or whatever, it will leach a lot of the strength out of the manure so that it won't burn anything. I've done this on a number of beds over the last few years, and it, it seems to work quite well. I wouldn't want to put it on in spring and try using it. It would be too strong, but it'll be six months before I plant anything in this, so it gets a chance to deteriorate. And in the spring, I will till it into the soil along with the remains of the, the buckwheat. And the plan is to grow potatoes in it next year. Anyway, what follows here is the little time-lapse video. It's quite amazing how quickly it came up and how fast it grew. I hope you enjoy it. 496 photos taken over two months. When the buckwheat starts to come up, it comes up very quickly. You can see it starting there and then all of a sudden it just booms. When you see some blurry images, uh, that's rainy or foggy days. If you look closely here, you can see it just starting to bloom. And as it goes on over the next few days, more blossoms keep appearing. And here it gets hit by the first frost. I didn't have to worry about having a chance to form seeds. It was in full bloom, but when the frost hit, buckwheat is very tender. It died immediately. Well, that just about concludes this little video. Thank you for watching.